Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to Hobo Tough Life where today I'm going to show you where to find all five occult altars that you need to consecrate Father Burian. So if you don't know, you got to go to Father Burian to get the uh, to get the holy water. Now once you get the holy water from Father Burian, you're going to want to you're going to need to get the key to the sewer and I'm going to show you where to get the key to the sewer right now. So we're going to go I'm actually going to take a shortcut through the fort. You can actually if if you can't get through the fort, let me show you where the fort is right here. This is where we're at right now. Um, we're going to have to go to Ziskov. Um, actually, no, I won't go through. I, I'll go around. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think I've got enough. We can do what we got to do. All right, so go around here. And then um, that, that's the, that's the, this is the other entrance to the fort right here. The other entrance is on the other side. Bear lives right here. And we're going to start right here where these, uh, where these stairs are, which is right here. We're in Ziskov, okay? We're just in the corner of Ziskov right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to hang a left. There's, sometimes there's a thug right there. You be careful. Just hug this wall, and you, he won't get you. And then what you're going to do is at these stairs right here, at these stairs right here, we're going to go ahead and go in this cubby. And we're going to talk to the sewer hobos. Now, the sewer hobos, you're going to, you're going to talk to this guy right here, Struck. He's going to start a quest line where you're going to be looking for one of his friends. They disappeared, and if they think he's in the sewer, they want you to check the sewer, so he gives you the sewer key. He's the guy you get the sewer key from. Now, once you do that, we're going to go back, and we're going to go back the way we came. And then at the wrought iron fence, we're going to hang a left. Okay? And then at this tower, we're going to hang a right. And then hang another left. And at this archway right here, we're going to bail over the side of this curb. You won't get fall damage. Don't worry. Okay? Pizza Bobo is right there. Just keep going straight. There's a bar to your left. Fergrim lives right here. This is the entrance to the uh, the Hobo Shopping Center shelter, which I've got a little set up here. But the entrance to the sewer is right here. One of the entrances to the sewers is right here. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go down. We're going to go back up. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you where on the map where this this shopping center is. If you don't know where the shelter is, it's right here. Okay, there it is. A lot of people out telling me that I didn't show you on the map where it was. All right, so, and then we're going to go back up. And then we're going to go this way. Just keep going straight. And that light is the burn barrel for the, the hobos we were just at. Go right here to these stairs. Go right behind the stairs. And there's your first altar right there. Okay? That's your first one. Go up back up these stairs, and we're going to circle back around the way we came. And we're going to end up in the same spot where we started. Okay, this is the back entrance to the sewer. It's going to lead you right here. Okay? Lead you right there. Go through, go left, go up and over this pallet. Go up these stairs. And then hang a left. Zigzag through these people. Go right here. And then go to the right. And these are the stairs we just talked about. Okay? Here's the entrance to the sewer hobos. Okay? Just keep going. Well, you, you, we're going toward the pit. We're not going into the pit, but we're going toward the pit. So you can go left or you can go right. Usually there's a thug right there, so I don't bother. I usually go to the right. And we go go down the stairs that we came up before. And we're going like we're going back to the pit. But we're not going to the pit. We're going just to this bridge right here, this, this stone bridge right here with all these archways. That's where we're going to go to. The second altar is going to be right there. So we're going to go here. And let me grab a. Oh, I drank a beer by mistake. Okay, go along this. Um, go along this bridgeway. All the way to the end. Okay, until you find the fencing. See this shed right here. There's these fences right here. Go right past the fences. Go to the right. Second altar is right there. There it is. Altar number two. All right. Now, now we know want to go to the pawn shop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up this ramp, and it's a straight shot to the pawn shop from here. So it's really not that difficult. If you have a handful of energy drinks, guys, you can keep going without, without running out of energy. And you can do this in less than 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to go across the street. And we're going to go ahead and, whoops, well, if I don't get, get stuck, and we're going to go to the pawn shop. There it is. Put your back to the pawn shop. See the guy smoking? Go right past him. Go right off this curb. Another guy smoking. Go to where it says Sebal. Hang a left. Go all the way down. First doorway. Second doorway. We're to the right. There's your third 
altar right there. Altar number three. Then we're going to go back up the way we came. And altar number four is... Okay, so that's the smoker guy. And as I'm coming out, pawn shops to my right, go left. Go through this archway onto the street. And then... Now, there's a couple of ways... And go to the right. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Now, by the way, right there, if you don't know, that is where you... That's your... Um, your the police department and your unemployment office and to the left over here is um kind of going toward like where you're excavating if you go straight then shrug is going to be to the right here now there's a there's a there's usually a um a um a thug right here but if there's not a thug you can go straight if there is a thug and you don't want to deal with him you can go around to shrug to where shrug lives Shrug lives right here, right? This is Shrug. He's the guy who deals in the uh, clothing, right? Okay, that's Shrug. Go through this right here and just hug the right side because if there's a thug right there, you don't want him to, to uh, aggro on you. But th you need to go right through here, okay? Right through here. Let me show you on the map. We're right here, okay? So basically between your other shelter area and Shrug is where you want to go down in here, go to the right, go down here, Go to the right, and there's a fourth altar right there, okay? Fourth altar, all right. And the fifth altar, ladies and gentlemen, um, is going to be, we go back up the way we came. And now, I don't, it doesn't really matter which way you go. I'm going to deal with this thug because I can, but we're right behind, that. that's the hotel right there, okay? I'm right behind the hotel. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to deal with him. So you might want to, see... All right, you know what? Do your worst. I'm going to sucker punch him. Sucker punch! Uh, sucker punch! Uh, Again! Uh, Give me your money. You're dead. Take that. Give me your money. Go away, sucker. All right, anyway, this is your shelter right here. This is the demolished block shelter. And this is the backside. This is where the chef is. I already got stuff from the chef, I think. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'm just going to grab my stuff from chef right quick because I can. All right, you give me some raw meat. That's fine. So anyway, once you get here, okay, right there in this little cubby is the entrance to the uh, to the um, the junkies. Okay, that's their front entrance. This is your shelter right here. You got to go all the way down the block. Now you can. There's multiple ways you can do it. You can go in through the junkies and hit that back alley. You can go here where you normally excavate. But there's a thug that stands right there. You're gonna have to get past him. Let me get my energy drink so I can beat him up if I have to. He's right there. I think if I hug this, he doesn't bother me. But once you get to the end, so you can either come out this way from the from the junkies area. You can come this way, or you can just go down the block and go, come back to the other side. you got to go all the way down to the end. And we will have to deal with a thug right here, so be aware for the fifth one. Because I don't think I can get around him. I can try. Hey, nope. I, I aggroed on him, so there's no getting around him. I didn't, you know, I don't have any. You know what? Do your worst. Suck a punch. Uh, Whoa. Suck a punch. Uh, Again. Uh, That's right. Give me your money. Get out of my face. Go away. All right. Anyway, once you get to the end here, hang a right. Emil is right here. Okay. And there's the fifth one. There's your fifth, fifth altar tucked in a corner right here. So that's all five altars, guys. All five occult altars in less than 10 minutes. Um, and you know what, as a bonus, let me go ahead and show you where Carnation Lady is. She's right here. Um, she lives right here. This is Miss Emka. She's the uh, seamstress that if you have, if you bring her a Carnation, she will fix your, she'll mend your clothing for you. She also has a lot of, uh, some pretty nice, um, uh, blueprints. She's got, um, Remarkable Fabric, which I already bought. She has Strange Fabric and she has Better Poncho. So... Anyway, but you're going to have to have a certain amount of trust, and she, you get trust by giving her uh, giving her flowers. So, anyway, that's all five altars, guys. Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.